Good morning. This is John. Sorry about the lighting, but it's very early in the morning on election day. 2020. And uh, I, I wanted to get a walk in before the day started and I couldn't sleep. And I got a lot going on, so here I am. But I got my flashlight and my reflective vest so, and an umbrella because it's raining and snowing. Uh, so what are you doing walking in the rain and the snow in the dark? <laughs> well, I'm clearing my head. And uh, I'm sticking to the, uh, the disciplines that got me thus far in my life. And uh, will take me through whatever transition this is uh, that we're about to make as a country, as a people, as a world. What a, what a moment this occasion. What a, uh, what a privilege it is to be here. It's uh, uh, emotionally challenging as it is for most of us. I know it is for me. And I can't help but think, you know, God bless America. God bless this country. It's got such huge potential. And yet, in an ironic way, part of the problem, I think, is in that statement. You know? Yes, God bless America. But let's not stop there. It almost sounds like it's excluding the rest of the world. God bless the world. God bless us. And I think... God already has because we have the ability to bless each other. Could could there be a, a greater gift that we could give to each other except maybe laying down our lives? Which, if you're an American, you already know our history. Many brave people have come before us and laid down their lives in the cause of freedom. And uh, freedom is for everyone, but it ain't cheap. Or someone once said to me, freedom is free, but it ain't cheap. We do have the opportunity on this day, regardless of who you're casting your vote for, we have the opportunity to see the bigger picture. And no matter who you're going to vote for in form, or maybe you're not going to vote at all, but I think we all can agree. We can vote to do it peacefully. We can vote to do it with kindness, with compassion, with empathy for and toward each other. And that means compassion, kindness, and empathy toward ourselves. To start, it starts right here at home, your home, right in your heart. It starts here and it extends outward. I said it before, half-jokingly, that uh, our spiritual and political leaders tell us that there's strength in our diversity. And I'm not buying that. There is no strength in diversity. It's inherently weak, hence the root of the word. Divide, division, divorce. There's strength in only one thing, unity. Whatever differences we have on the surface, they are superficial. Beyond the eyes and the body and the mind, there is, there is a connection and a oneness that holds us all, whether you want to recognize it or not. Even if it's just in the oneness of what's going on right now with COVID. That's why you can look at COVID as a, as a stepping stone, as a symbol. There it is, as ugly as you want to call it. It gave us the ability to join together and all agree upon one thing. We don't want to be sick. We're all tired of being sick. So, if you're feeling compelled this election day to be drawn in to conflict, to be drawn in to attack, keep this thing in mind. It's helped liberate me from my own conflicts and that is the best 
defense is never to attack another's position, but rather to, pr to protect the truth. And I don't mean truth as in facts about what's going on in the world. I'm talking about the truth of who you are, the power that lies within. <laughs> Best defense is never to attack another's position. Another way to say it would be rather to protect the heart. And from that place, from that, from that singularity, we can all see that we don't have separate goals. We go together, you and I. No matter what your beliefs are, what your thoughts, we go together. You and I. And maybe God bless America doesn't work for you. Maybe you don't believe in God. That's okay too. You can still be mindful of your choices, which are really the same thing, because you want to be happy and you want to be at peace too. Anybody not want to be happy and be at peace? So if God doesn't work for you, how about mindfulness? Be mindful of fear-based attacking thoughts and then deny the denial of peace. Deny those things that are trying to deny you, us, our country, our world, our future. It is denying us the ability to move through whatever transitions we may be facing. To do it with peace, to do it with compassion, to do it with kindness, to do it with charity. I'm privileged to be here, to know every one of you, to have this experience in my life, and uh, we will move through this and become citizens of the world, a much more open, a much more spacious, a much, much more loving and inclusive place to be. God bless America. God bless the world. God bless you and let's bless each other. <laughs>